Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Gracias a Dios, bien. Okay. Todo muy bien, con calor. Bien. Sí, verdad, estaba haciendo un calorón horrible. Pero bueno, espero que aparte del calor esté muy bien de salud. Y vamos a iniciar el día de ahora con la clase. Um, remember that tomorrow we're not going to have classes. Tomorrow is free for you, okay? It's time to celebrate with your mother, okay? With your family and just in case your mom is alive. All right, so um, do you remember what was yesterday's topic? Uh, countables and uncountable. Uh, okay, great. And we were also discussing about some rules. What are some rules? There were like eight or seven rules. I mean, seven or eight rules. Do you remember? Do you remember what the rules are, or what the rules were? For example, no change, regular nouns. Okay, so we have some irregular singular and plural nouns, right? Give me yes, some examples, right. please. What the example? Yes, regular I, need, or... I need some examples. You For example, irregular. one car. Yeah. Um, in, in cars, uh, uh, yes. Is a uh, two cars. Okay. One car, two cars. Okay. Great. Awesome. And I need some example of irregular nouns. Do you remember the list of irregular nouns? What's the list for irregular nouns? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. I can say man, man, one man, two men, uh -huh. one, one man, child, two men, two yes. children. Yes. Okay. Yes. And how about fish? Uh huh. This no change. It doesn't change at all. Okay. All right. What else can you say? Is that it? Uh, how about if the noun ends in letter O? What do we do? Only uh, e i e s i e s with letter o. Are you sure? Give me no. some examples uh, with consonant plus y. Mm. But what o. happens? What happens when the noun ends in letter o? Chase. Just, just uh, E and S. E and S, excellent, great. Okay, give me another rule for singular and plural nouns. What happens if the noun ends in letter Y? What do we do? As S. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the words, for example, one day, two days. Okay, but if I have country, what do we do? Uh, the e i e s countries. So we eliminate the letter y, and we're going to add 
I E S. Is that clear? Yes, clear. Okay, excellent. So remember that we were just reviewing the use of quantifiers. I need you to provide me some sentences. Some sentences using quantifiers. I want you to type the, the examples on the chat for quantifiers. I need you to type for countables and uncountable numbers. Okay, once you have the examples, type it on the chat, please. On the Zoom chat. Okay, so uh, I had the first question from Brenda. Brenda is asking, how many shares do you have in your house? Okay, and that question goes to Luis. How many shares do you have in your house? In that, okay. Alexandra says, most family in China have one child <laughs> only. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I ask you that, that, that question, David, how many shares do you have in your house? What would be your answer? Eugene says, there are a lot of oranges on the table. Great. Thank you, Eugene. Great job. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Uh, yes. How many shares? How many shares? Okay. I think. Are there in your house? I think I have 25. 25? Okay. 25. Okay. More or less. <laughs> okay. Uh, teacher. Yep. Lo siento, es que. Uh, entendí mal, creí que era identificar eh, oraciones en las que estuviesen usando este, cuantificadores en esta imagen, lo siento. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Por eso okay. puse esa. It's okay. Hello, teacher, pero yes. la respuesta correcta sería I have many 25. I have many shares or I have 25 shares. Remember oh, okay. that you can use quantifiers. You can say, I have many or I have 25 shares. Okay. So, 50 50, we see It's all right. It's right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Geraldine says, How many flowers are there in your garden? Oh, you can say, There are 100 or there are many flowers. Is it clear? In, in negative form, I don't have many. There so, aren't. There aren't. Uh, there I, aren't any flowers. There aren't uh, any flowers. Yes. Una consulta, disculpe. Mm -hmm. eh, el cuantificador son, eh, bueno, es que no, no estaba en la lista de los que ya vimos, ¿verdad? Se mm -hmm. puede usar para los contables y no contables, ¿cierto? Ok. Eh, yo, yeah. bueno, en la, le, le pregunto esto porque ayer cuando hice, formulé una oración interrogativa, el, era, would you like some milk? La respuesta pudo haber sido, 
uh, I would like some milk. Yes, yes I would like some milk. ¿Estoy en lo correcto o no? Mm, you have different Está options. Pensé de esa forma, pero no sé. If you say, would you like some milk? My answer will be, yes, I would. Uh -huh. Or I can say, yes, Entonces, I would like some la milk. La respuesta corta. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Ajá, yes, sí, le preguntaba like porque milk. creí que estaba mal, porque uh -huh. no le dije la respuesta porque no la había craneado en el momento, pero uh -huh. eh, como me hizo reformular la oración, pensé que estaba mal. No. Pero gracias. It's okay. okay. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Eugene says, are there any people in this chat? Okay. Or how many people are there? You can also ask. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, let me just check something. Okay. Now, um, on the previous class before quantifiers, we were checking some specific information about family. And there was a dialogue that we were studying. However, since quantifiers was uh, really long, okay, and we had to practice in order for you to complete the exercises, I was able just to play a video related to a conversation uh, based on family members. And the conversation said or asked how, I mean, it says, I come from a big family. However, we didn't go deep on that topic because we had to study the use of quantifiers. And if you realized quantifiers are very long, you should know a lot of information first, countable and uncountables, and also a mixed stuff. okay? Since we already know how to use quantifiers, and I hope you, you did a great job using the, um, I mean, completing the exercises on the website, since you, uh, did that, we are going to check a little bit or we are going to go deeply on the family members, all right? So I want you to be able to describe the family members. Previously, we were just checking a little bit of that information, but I want to go deeply on that because that's going to help you on your future uh, courses. If you see, there is a dialogue okay that we were practicing before as well and i want you to follow the same conversation okay there are two people on the conversation and i want two volunteers as well if you see the chat on zoom you will be able to see the picture that i have already sent and it's just a matter of following the uh, role okay so you can take the role of a student a and a student b so uh, I need to volunteer. There is Marco and there is Mei Li. So who wants to be Marco first? Marco and Mei Li. Uh-huh. Yeah, Norma is going to be Mei Li, Alexandra. Okay, Norma is going to be Marco. Alexandra is going to be Mei Li. Okay, just follow the conversation, please. And then after this, we're going to be able to practice a little bit of the vocabulary related to family members, okay? Because I, I want you to be able to describe your family members. That's something very important. Okay, uh, go ahead, please. Marcos, Norma, Alexandra, Meili. One, two, three, action. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Norma. Hello. Okay, Luis and Alejandra then. Okay. 
I am Marcos. Okay. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have mainly? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller. Smaller. This, they, this, this day, but, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Thank you. Two more volunteers. Teacher, ya, yes. de, me funcionaba el microphone. Microphone, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Okay, who wants to practice? Oh, yeah, there you have Geraldine. Norma Geraldine, go ahead, please. Uh, yo, Marcos, siempre? Yes. Okay, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Melly? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most family in China have only one child, no way. In China? In China. I did, did, no. No, I didn't that, know that. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, it's that typical in Peru. No, really. A lot of families are small, smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a get love of birthday present. Thank you, David, and I need another volunteer. Okay, David and Eugene. Okay, okay. Uh, I am my okay. mm -hmm. Hello, David. Sí. Uh, uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meli? Actually, I am only child. The only child. Child. Really? Yeah. Most family in China have only one child. No weapons. What well, is? I didn't know that. What about Marcos? Uh, sorry. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow! Is that typical in 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 Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller this day, but. Big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay. Thank you. Now I have Catherine and Francisco Valdomar. Okay. Catherine. Hola. Empiezo yo. Yeah. Yes. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in chi China have only one child. 
no waiters. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a black family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. Uh, a lot of families are smaller these days, but black families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Okay, thank you. Adriana and the last volunteer. Patricia, go ahead. How many brothers? Perdón. Okay. Go ahead. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Melly? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have two brothers and two sisters. Wow, it, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay. Thank you. Now, guys, let me go ahead and share with you my computer screen. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Let me see. One more time. I think it's loading. Yes. Yes, I see it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. There you have this exercise. I hope that you have already completed it. And um, we're going to complete this uh, knowledge check first. It says instructions, read the following sentences, select the response with the quantifier clauses in meaning. Okay, and you have right there instructions in Spanish in case you didn't understand the part in English. So, uh, David, it says in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. What would be the best option? It says, read the following sentence and let that response with the quantifier closes in meaning. Mm -hmm. I I think the the first one. And in China, a lot of women get married by the age of twenty two. Okay. Let's, see. Let's select that one. Eugene, the next one. Read the example and select the best option that qualifies according to the quantifiers. In Australia. Okay. In Australia, 87% of married couples have children. Mm -hmm. Couples have children. Yep. And in Australia, not many married couples have children. In Australia, some married couples have children in Australia, really? Nearly. Mm -hmm. Is the 
in Australia, some married couples have children. Are you sure? Look at the percentage. It says 80%, 87%. Ah. And some means algunos, but in, it doesn't make sense because we have 87%. Many. Uh, in Australia, really a lot of, a lot of couples have children. Really? Or nearly? <laughs> I think, I think. Okay. Thank nearly. you. Nearly. Thank you. Adriana. In Australia, nearly. Number three. The, uh, is in the, United, in the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Okay, but read the sentence first. In the United States, all, all percent of the people vote before the age of 18. Mm -hmm. In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Okay. Thank you. Geraldine, next one. Uh, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, a few people in Germany live alone. Are you sure? Most people in Germany alone. Alexandra, what will be the best answer for you? I think it's some people in yes. Germany live alone. Because look at this, 35%, 35%. Las personas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Alejandro, read the next one. Okay. 5.78% uh, of American high school students have jobs. Mm -hmm. um, most, most American high school students have jobs. Okay. Let's see the answers. Ta -da! Yay! Great job! Excellent! <laughs> Great, I really love it. Thank you guys. Okay. Now, it says, I want you to read the lesson object objective. And that is going to be read by, a, let's see, Sylvia, read the lesson objective, please. What does it say? Sylvia. Geraldine, go ahead, please. In this lesson, participants will read an article about families and their change. And their changes. Excellent. Before moving forward, I want you to look at a vocabulary related to family members. That's the reason why I decided to bring this, uh, let's say, family tree. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, great. Now, let me go ahead and read some information first. And then we are going to make a list of words or vocabulary, if you want to say that. Here you have grandfather. The grandfather's name is? Angel. 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 Okay. You also have grandmother. What is one grandmother's name? Valentina. 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 Okay. So, and you also have 
Father. You had the father. And the father's name is? Ian. 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 Okay. Here you have father and mother. Grandfather and father, father. sorry. Father. Grandfather and father. Okay. So you also have his wife and his wife's name or Ian's wife name is? Michaela. 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 Okay. And here you have the uncle. And the uncle is? Dylan. Or the uncle's Dylan. name is? Dylan. 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 And the uncle's wife is? Amaya. 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 Thank you. So, from father and mother, or from Ian and Michaela, we have how many children? Three. Three, Three children. children. Okay. The first son's name is? Yeah. And then we have? Isaac. Isaac. And the daughter's name is? Alondra. Alondra. Thank you. Okay, from Uncle Dylan and Aunt Amaya, we have how many children? Two, Two children. children. Two, Two children. children. Okay, Two children. Uh, the cousin's name is? Sophia. Sophia. And the, cousin, the second cousin's name is? Camilo. Okay, here we have how many children? Three. And here we have two children. And what is the relationship between them, between all of them? What is the relationship? It's cousin. Cousin. They are cousins. Great. Okay. Thank you. And here, what is the relationship between? I'm sorry, among Dylan and Amaya with those guys. Sister in law. Mother in law. Sister in law. Okay. Valentina Are you sure? Is, uh, sorry. Is mother in law of Ma Maya. Amaya. Okay. So, Amaya, relationship with Valentina is? Mother-in-law. Valentina is Amaya's mother-in-law. Okay. Sister-in-law or mother-in-law? Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. So, Amaya... Is Valentina's daughter in law? Daughter in law. Daughter in law. Okay. And here you have the pet. And what is the pet's name? Noah. 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 Questions so far? I don't have. You don't have questions? Okay. So let me ask you since tomorrow is going to be the Mother's Day, I want to ask you about your mom, okay? So, Sylvia, what is your mother's name? Sylvia? Okay, Sylvia let me select. Oh, I'm sorry. Eugene, what's your mother's name? Uh, the mother's name is Micaela. No, what's your mother's name? Ah, okay. Uh, my mother's name is Jesus. Okay. Thank you. Alexandra, what's your father's name? My father's name is Carlos. Okay. David, what's your mother's name? 
And my mother's name is Sylvia. <laughs> Brenda, what is your grandmother's name? My mother's name is... Your grandmother's Julia. name. Oh, sorry. My grandmother's name is Julia. Julia. Okay. Efember, what is your grandfather's name? My grandfather's name is Lorenzo. No. Uh, Norma, what is your uncle's name? Mr. Baldomar, what is your uncle's name? My uncle's name is Abelio. Okay. Ana and, Flores. Uh, excuse me, in a, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, Puedo decir también uh, his name. Abelio. His name is, yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. David, tell me about your favorite cousin's name. A thousand names. Mm -hmm. um, well, I have only girls. Only girls, and but yeah, but what is your favorite one? My favorite one is Kepler. Okay, thank you. Sandra, what is your pet's name? My pet's name is Pepito mm -hmm. and Zeus. Okay, Kevin, what is your pet's name? My pet's name are uh, Mota and Suri. Okay, Mota and Suri. All <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Maria, yeah, I'm cu I'm curious about that name. Maria Santos, what's your mother's name? My mother is Rosa. Okay, my mother's name is Rosa. Hector, tell me what is your pet's name? Uh, my pet's name is Cookie. Oh, Cookie. Edwin, what is your grandfather's name? Okay, Sandra, what is your grandfather's name? Um, Virgilio, but I don't know. I know in the life. Okay, he's not alive anymore. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay. It's all right. Uh, Brenda, tell me, what is your pet's name? This is our Kim Bok Yu. Okay. So I was asking a lot about your mom but I didn't ask you about your children. Okay, let me see some, fa some faces first. Brenda, do, but I'm going to ask you questions uh, before. I'm going to ask you some proven questions. Do you have children, yes or no? Uh, repeat me, please. Do you have children? Yes, I have. Okay, what is your daughter's name? I have three. Three daughters? Three. No, three sons. Oh, just, just boys. Yes, just boys. No girls. No girls. Yes. Oh, okay. I have the first is name mm -hmm. Steven Gerard. Okay. Ah, oh, great name. Son, mm -hmm. <laughs> the second son is Edwin Antonio. Mm -hmm. And the number three. And the number three, uh, the third is. Brandon Ronaldo. Oh, great. Happy Mother's Day in advance. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Sandra, I have Sandra here. I, I'm checking your faces first. Okay, Sandra, do you have children? Yes, I have three daughters. Oh, three daughters? Yes. Daughters. Okay, so the singular of this uh, noun 
is daughter. But if you add the letter S, that's daughter. So Sandra has three daughters. Daughters. Okay. And what are your daughter's names? Um, the first, Alison. Okay. The second, Daniela. Oh, okay. And the final. Is the last Nicole. one or third one, sorry? Nicole. Nicole. Great. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to see other faces here. Geraldine, do you have children? No, I don't have children. You don't? Okay. It's all right. Uh, fathers, don't be jealous, okay? That's going to be until June, June 17th, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, uh, Leila, do you have children? No, teacher, I don't have. You don't? Okay. Let's see, let me see other faces. Uh, Anna, do you have children? Yes, I have two children. One that... girl and a boy. Oh, look at this. <laughs> One girl and a boy. Okay, yeah. what is what is your son's name? My son's name is Matthew. Matthew, oh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, is that Matthew or Mateo? Matthew. Matthew. Matthew oh, great. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, my. Let's see. My nephew. My nephew's name is Mateo. That's, That's his okay. name. Yeah. Uh huh. In Spanish. Mateo. Okay. So, and your daughter's name? My daughter's name is Shelby Pamela. Oh, really? I like it. Yeah. Okay. Happy Mother's Day as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Now, since we have already checked the information related to uh, the beautiful family that we have here, let's check some adjectives. Adjectives to describe family. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, once you can see my computer screen, just let me know, okay? Actually, I'm going to share with you a Word page. Because the next class, you will be able to describe your family. That's going to be the next activity, okay? So, in order to describe your family, you need to know about some adjectives. Some adjectives. For example, if you want to talk about hair, there are some adjectives that you need to use. Okay? There you have short, which is the most common one. Short, long, Okay, you also have curly, brown, a black. You also have a, curly. We, we have gray, curly. What other colors do we have? Red, right? Red. Red. Uh, blue, like la bichota. Purple. Purple. Pink. Okay. Blanc is for. Blonde. Uh, con, uh, para el rubio, no? Yes. Okay. Green. 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 No. green. We also have green. Green color. Okay. Let me just check something else. Okay, blue color like Carol G. <laughs> okay, what other 
adjective can you use to describe hair? We have short, long, curly, brown, black, gray, red, blue, purple, blonde. And I think this is the right one, wavy. Do you know what the wavy is? Do you know what does it mean? Wavy, wavy. Como ondulado. Ondulado, yes. Great. Okay. Okay. Any other adjective right. that you want to describe? Straight. I mean, that you want to uh, ask. No sería para lacio. Straight. Algo así. Straight. Yes. Thank you. Or in Spanish, we say liso, right? Sí, uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Would you like to add any other adjective on this category? Or it's everything clear? How do you say Afro? Afro. Chirizo, ¿sí? <laughs> mm, good, good. Now, you can go ahead and find it. Most of the times I have seen it curly, but Afro. Honestly, I don't remember that adjective. However, we can go ahead and find it. Let's find it. I'm going to give you one minute. You can check the social media, Google it. I'm going to Google it as well. How do you say Afro in Spanish? I mean, in English, actually. Okay, cabello Afro. Afro. In English. Okay. Oh, Afro hair. Afro hair. Uh -huh, it doesn't change a lot. Afro hair. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for providing that adjective to me. Okay. And now let's move to the category of face. What type of face do we have? Uh huh. Large. Short, long. Long. Okay. Round. Fat. A square. Thin. Uh huh. What else? Beautiful. And ugly. <laughs> okay. All right. And is wonderful. Diamond. Wonderful. Sorry. Diamond. 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 Yes. Really? Face diamond. Oval. Yes. Cara de diamante. Yeah. yeah. I have never listened to that word before. Me too. <laughs> okay. Es para la forma. Es para la forma. Interesting. Es para la forma. Sí, por la forma del rostro. Ah, really? I Ajá, didn't. Es como más. Makeup. Es como más ancha de arriba y y más delgadita así hacia abajo. Tiene más pronunciada la la barbilla y. Ajá. Ajá. Sure. Really. I think. I think only girls conocen esa diamond. Ese tipo de cara que es. I didn't know. Cuando se trabaja para maquillaje, pues se tiene que estudiar ese tipo de cara. There you go. Con razón, entonces, teacher. There you go. Ahí sí nos batearon. Because I didn't know it. En la cuarta, que sin, no se veía sin la G. Oh, thank you. Thin face, yes. Rostro delgado. Wonderful, no. Wonderful, I have never, I have never heard I, wonderful. Uh, but beautiful, hair. yes. Uh, Sorry. Hair. How do you spell that? Is a H E R I, perdón. E. No, no, yes. 
R T. Okay, one more time since the beginning. Okay. He E A E R T T Eh, teacher, le sobra una E. Eh? <laughs> <Yep>. Okay. <laughs> Art face? Yeah. <coughs> yes. Oh, I didn't know uh, it. Good to know. What do you mean her face? Uh huh. Es cuando el nacimiento del del cabello empieza right. desde el más abajo en la frente. Oh. Entonces es, es igual por la forma, que es más ancho por la frente y termina más. Será, la, en la parte será, de la barbilla es más angosto. Será como okay. las entradas que uno lo dice. Como no, creo que es cuestión de es maquillaje también. Es la forma también. de la cara. Es <ríe> correcto. <ríe> eh, okay. Yo creo que es cuestión de maquillaje. Que vamos a salir yes. bilingües y expertas en maquillaje. Ya. <ríe> Esto para vender Avon. Yeah, I didn't know it. Thank Avon. you. Un ejemplo, Thank you de esa cara, un ejemplo de esa cara podría ser la protagonista que sale en la primera película de Spider-Man. El original. De Tobey Maguire. Oh, okay. well. oh yes. Yeah. Ok. Thank you. Let's move to eyes. What adjectives do we have? Big, blue, green, big, big. blue, hello, uh, <laughs> black, uh, small, hazel, around, brown, small, almond, round, machinados, almond. Almond, okay. I'm sorry. Nero. How do you spell I, that? Is N A R R O W. Narrow. Okay. Yes. What else do you have? Es London. How do you spell it? Um, S L A N T E D. I think that is Achinados. Is that I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. All right. Now, but how about a skin color? Gray. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Light brown. Light brown. brown. Light brown. Brunette. Mm -hmm. Brunette, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Dark, light. A smooth. How do you spell Para it? Dark. S M. Mm -hmm. Brown. O T H. Okay. Brown. Piel café. Are you sure? We can we can put Caucasic. How do you spell it? Um. Let me investigate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know light brown. Okay. Um, Marron claro. I, I also I also know white light skin. <laughs> Muchos dicen Shelly. blancos. Okay, David is white light skin. Yeah. Right, David. Also, yes, remember. Vaya, no estén usando filtros, pues. <laughs> I'm saying because look at my skin. I'm not using any filter. I'm dark light skin. Chelito, me dicen acá rato cuando voy al mercado. How about, how about, okay. <laughs> how about the person that called albino? I don't know it. I know. Ellos no tienen pigmentación en la piel. 
Ah, pale. really? Pale, creo que se dice algo así. Pale, ok. Yes. Albino, pale. albino, yo entendía que era también persona que no tenía muchos pelitos también. Ah, oh, really? Ah, no, yes. Es una I persona have... que tiene problemas de pigmentación para el cabello y la piel. Ah, Correcto, así okay. es. Pero esos son blanclay. No, 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 son los que la gente llama a los hijos del sol, que ni siquiera sus pestañas o cejas o cabello tienen ah, color. Ok, mm -hmm. albino, do you say? Eh, se mm. escribe con B. Con la otra B. B. <laughs> albino, con B. ok. Con B, ese es right. su B. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok, so we have light brown, white light skin, brunette, dark brunette. light skin, oh. smooth, brown, pale. Albino yes. and also dark. Like Rihanna, she say she she is, I mean, she has dark light skin or dark skin. But don't dry you skin? ever huh? dark teacher. Dry? Dry? Dry skin. Okay. Dry, dry skin. Dry skin. Uh-huh. What do you say, Brenda? C-A-N. Oh, yes. Tan skin. Yes. Okay. Um, dark. You can say dark light skin. Dark light. Like this one. Okay. But don't you, don't you ever say black to black people. Why? Because they are going to get angry. They call black between them. Solo entre ellos se llaman negros. But if you Negra. say black uh -huh, to one of those uh, black people, they are going to get so angry. So don't, don't you ever tell them. Okay? Okay. Great. Thank you. Now, we also have height. Uh-huh. Give me some adjectives for height. Tall. Tall. Mm -hmm. A small. Small. A small or short? Oh, no. Short. 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 To describe people, I would say short. Uh huh. Short. Medium. Medium height. Mm -hmm. Extra large. Extra large, are you sure? Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Things. Tall, or you can also say very tall. Very tall. Mm -hmm. No very tall, very tall. Big teacher. Big. I would say tall or very tall. Uh huh. And tiny, do you know what's the meaning of tiny? Tiny? Demasiado delgado, o delgado. No. Tiny Enanito. Mm -hmm. Skinny. Yeah. Tiny. Okay. Overweight? Uh, no. no, this is for height. Oh, okay. What about, what about wavy? Wavy? Wavy or heavy. I don't remember. I'm not ah, sure. Th that's for appearance. Ah, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. For appearance, we have heavy. Uh-huh. What else do we have? A strong. A strong, yes. Overhead. You can also say pretty for women. And yeah. handsome for boys. Attractive. Attractive, yes. Cute. Sweetie. Cute. Cute for <laughs> babies only. Sweet. Dapper. Do you do you know what's the meaning of dapper? Mm. Ugly. <laughs> ugly. Okay. I'm ugly. Okay. Sweetie. Pretty. Sweetie. We, we already said pretty. No, sweetie. Ah, sweetie. Uh-huh. 
Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. What is the difference between pretty? When do we use pretty and when do we use handsome and dapper? Uh huh. Handsome is for men. Handsome for men. That's an adjective for men. And pretty? For women. For, for women. women. Okay. And why Maluma says pretty boy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a good question, huh? Okay. Attractive. Now, the next class, guys, we're going to continue filling out the information for personality. I want you to look for some inf information related to um, those adjectives, okay? For personality. And also uh, bring the information about your family members because you are going to describe your family as well. I'm going to give you some examples. Ok, les voy a dar unos ejemplos para que vean cómo se describen los familiares en inglés siguiendo un orden, porque aquí lo que vamos haciendo es siguiendo un orden, desde el cabello, el rostro, los ojos, la altura, perdón, el tono de piel, la altura, personalidad, apariencia y personalidad, ok. Les voy a enseñar cómo formar oraciones o describir sus familiares. Les voy a dar un minuto para que hagan una pregunta relacionada a la clase. Una o dos preguntas. No questions. No questions. Vaya, entonces. Solo, ajá. No, solamente un pequeño comentario. Estaba revisando, veo que Silvia había colocado en el chat que no se iba a poder conectar ahora. Tuvo conveniente, al parecer, dice. Ah, ok. Está bien. Sí, ya le contesto. Perfecto. Entonces, como no tienen eh, ninguna otra pregunta, yo los dejo hasta acá. Buen provecho para los que no han cenado. Las que son mamás, disfruten el día de mañana, es su día. Levántense tarde porque mañana van a descansar. ¿Ok? Así que feliz día de las madres, que disfruten. Y los que tienen sus mamás, eh, aún todavía, abrácenlas, denle lo mejor, el mejor regalo. Y nos vemos hasta el jueves. Bye. See you, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. Yeah. Take care.